legendary name and a football background doesn't normally lead to stand-up comedy, but for Tumua Tuine, with the support of his teammates, it did. He's wildly taken off today. We meet the football funny man who's been selling out shows and getting tons of thumbs up for his local skits. If they want to get some food, some dinner, some food, my go-to spot, McDonald's drive through <laughs> Tumua, what's up, man? Thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Oh, man, thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you for having me. You, um... Let, let's just get right into, uh, first of all, I want to start off with, you, you played football at the University of Hawaii, which is where uh, we know each other. And then right, you, right. Ended up on, you ended up on stage. How do you go from that to this? How, how did this all get going? So I actually took a stand-up comedy class at UH. Yeah, believe it or not. They have that over there. And um, I took it just to boost up my GPA, you know, just getting the extra credits. But um, I ended up loving it. You know, and for our final presentation, we had to perform 10 minutes in front of a live audience. And I did that. The whole football team came to that night and it, it was like phenomenal. I, I still can't, you know, it's one of my, my, my best. It was like my first time performing on stage. So I always remember that, you know. So I did great that night. And then a comedy promoter saw me and then he kept inviting me to come in out to more shows and then did, did some stuff with Augie T. Andy Bumatai, and then now I'm kind of just like branching off on my own. But it's been about four years of doing stand up. So, right, right when I was in college, I started it. So, you know, um, so obviously, I, like many others, watch uh, your social media stuff. And, and your comedy is based on things that, that a lot of us deal with in real life. Can you tell us a little bit about your process and, and maybe what even inspires you a little bit? There's like two sides of my comedy. There's like my stand-up side and then my, my video side. I try to make uh, everything relatable to local people because that's my that's my audience, you know, Hawaii people. And so that's the first thing I look for is if it's relatable and if it's funny, I guess. Because if, it, if it's funny because it's true, that's the main thing why people laugh. So um, <clears throat> that was it. So I, I try to push all my, you know, my following I got from my, my skits to my stand-up so that's my two sides of comedy but i have a, I have a wonderful time making those videos and, and, and filming with friends it's a great experience who is your favorite comedian who do you think you kind of mold yourself after or is this something that you just decided to go off on your own and and, and kind of figure it out yourself like i mentioned local comedians in hawaii my all-time favorite is andy Pumatai. um you know he's done it all he he, he made a big impact in hawaii and he even branched out to the mainland when he was a, a bit younger and made a big impact up there as well. So I definitely look up to him. He's one of my mentors that always checks in with me. Um, definitely Augie T too for local comedians. You know, he, he awesome legend. Um, but I'm a huge Joe Coy fan as well. And um, awesome guy. You know, he comes to Hawaii every year and he puts on an amazing show. And I, I, I look up to those guys, you know, so that it's fun. We're, we'll, we'll talk about Blue Note here in just a second. What do you have in store for yourself in 2021? What do you got coming up? Any projects? Um, in 2021, uh, I want to plan an island-wide tour. So just hit up all the islands and and uh, well, most of them that, that can that can accommodate with, with the pandemic right now and just give them some comedy. And hopefully at the end of 2021, I can perform at a bigger venue um, for a bigger audience when things start opening up. Uh, speaking of the Blue Note, you, you've uh, you've kind of taken up residency there. You've got a couple shows this weekend. Um, yeah. Most of your shows have been sold out, if not all of them. How do you like that room, though? That room is pretty intimate. It's it's a great room, you know. Um, it like you said, it's intimate, and I, and I kind of like that. You know, you just can have more conversations with the audience. You can pick on them more. Every every show was different because it had a different audience, you know. And and I just love that the way of comedy because you can tell the same joke four times, but each time it'll be different because of who's accepting it, you know? So um, it's a great room, great venue. Um, I'm doing 12 shows this month. So um, it's it's gonna be fun, you know, I can't wait. Well, we love your comedy uh, and, and we wanna support. So what's the best way to follow you uh, or, or find out what you're doing, where you'll be at? How do we follow you? You can follow me on Instagram at Tumua underscore, so T-U-M-U-A, and uh, Facebook, Tumua Tuine, um, YouTube, Tumua Tuine. Right on, brother. We'll have some good shows. I, I plan on catching one at the end of this month. You can also catch Tumua on one of our upcoming episodes of Sam Choi's In the Kitchen. 
That's and, right. Until then, it's the Blue Note. Take care, Blue my note, friend. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Aloha. Such a cool guy. Uh, not a lot of jokes being told in this interview, but we kind of wanted to give people uh, just kind of a get to know him a little bit, find out how it all started. Well, you know, and I'm kind of late to the party. I, I didn't know about him. I saw Chad Owens posted that he went to one, his last round of sold out shows. So that's what got me thinking about it. And yeah, he's just the tickets and the shows are going. So look for him in the future at Blue Note because he's such yeah. a great thing. They're a great supporter of local comedy. Absolutely. They've got that comedy series. Again, it's at. T U M U A underscore. There you go. Two more, two and a. All right, we're going to.